Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review of an American horror film. This is actually a remake, but I've been told it doesn't really have anything to do with the original. But it is under the same name. I haven't seen the original, so I can't make the compa um, comparison, but it has been labelled as a remake. A lot of American movies lately have been remakes, so whether or not this one uh, makes it as a good film, I'm about to tell you. Released in the year 2010, directed by Darren Lynn uh, Bosman, who directed Saw 2, 3 and 4. And this film is called Mother's Day. And the story to Mother's Day is as follows. After a bank robbery gone wrong, three brothers head for home, hoping their mother can provide them with a getaway. The youngest brother, Johnny, has been shot, and their backstabbing former partner has gotten away with all the cash. But when the brothers get home, they find that their stuff is gone, and mother is nowhere to be found. She lost the house months ago in a foreclosure. The new owners, Beth and Daniel, so happy and their guests, gathered for an ill-timed birthday party, uh, become the brothers' unwitting hostages. Not long after Mother arrives, along with the boy's sister Lydia, and it soon becomes clear that Mother will do absolutely anything to protect her children. In one terrifying evening, she brilliantly takes control of the situation and masterminds her son's escape from the law. Sides will be taken, secrets revealed, and sins push are punished in, as, life, uh, as the hostages struggle to make it through the night alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, what we have at the start of the movie, a uh, a group of brothers have tried to rob a bank, and it has become uh, you know they've been on the receiving end of a botched attempt. So one of the brothers is shot. So they race back to where they thought their mother was living, but it turns out when they arrive there, it doesn't actually belong to the mother anymore, and that if they kept the phone that their mother gave them, the mother would have been able to tell them. So these three brothers find that the home they used to call home is now belonging to, to uh, a couple. And <clears throat> they've had a party on this particular day. And so there is eight individuals at, inside this house. So the brothers go inside. They're shocked to see that, um, you know, it doesn't belong to them anymore. And this is where they decide to take them as hostages to find out what the hell's going on. They contact their mother and their mother comes to the house. And it turns out that the mother, along with the sister, uh, the mother played by Rebecca de Mornay, she is just as insane as the brothers and she will do anything to keep her family happy, together and alive. So she takes the law into her own hands and she basically makes the hostages uh, do a, a series of ghastly things to each other in order for the, um, the mother to look after her children and get a, an escape plan going. So that's all I'm going to say on the synopsis. If you want to know more, please go out there and have a look at this film for yourself. Now, my thoughts on the movie. Uh, I think it's actually a good thing that I can't compare this to the original. Now, I've been told it's nothing like the original, but a lot of the time, when it's compared to originals, you kind of go into the film not giving it a fair go. So the fact that I didn't see the original is a real blessing for me coming into this film because I could enjoy the movie on its own. I could just basically treat it as a, a movie that is uh, not a remake. So yeah, for that reason I went into it with a very fresh approach. I've been told that it's a very brutal film and it's been compared to a Spanish film called Kidnapped. Now I think Kidnapped is probably alongside Inside as the best home invasion film ever made. I thought it was just so brutal, so realistic and it's just so hard hitting. So I thought if Mother's Day was anything like that, then I was in for a treat. And it was actually being said that this movie is an indication that Hollywood haven't lost their touch as far as horror is concerned. So they're pretty big words, you know, a lot of uh, praise for the film. So going into it, I was expecting something that I certainly didn't get. I actually thought this film was very ordinary. Now, it might shock a lot of people. A lot of people love this film. But for me, it fails to deliver what it needed to. What it needed to deliver was a very dark, very brutal film. And yes, it is brutal and dark, but I felt that the director didn't take advantage of it. He made it typical Saw fashion in that he's glorifying the violence rather than making, making it realistic and hard-hitting. There are some torture scenes in the film, but I thought they were gratuitous and they were overdone. I thought that it was just a basically a, um, set pieces of torture. Um, you know, it kind of halted the story a little bit. The continuity suffered a little bit when these violent acts were occurring. And as a result of that, I actually thought that the film went on for a little bit too long. Now, the problem with the movie is the fact that it's been directed by the maker of Saw. And he is really um, handed up. Um, it's sort of a glamorous horror film. And although it does have a very dark story, it's kind of um, showing violence for something cool rather than something truly horrific. Because I actually thought there were a few scenes in the film that were shocking, but could have been even more shocking if it was a lot more grittier. I just had the, the overwhelming feeling that this was just yet another 
a mainstream Hollywood horror film, which was very, very disappointing because it was nowhere near what I was hoping it for to be. Now, there are some slasher elements to the film, and there are some Saw th sort of throw-ins. There's some set pieces that reminded me of Saw, and it's really evident that the director has made Saw, which is, you know, he brought that influence, which is something that wasn't needed. So, again, that is a me mega, mega negative for the film. The characters, the villains were stereotypical. The, um, the, the hostages made some very stupid decisions. And yes, you can forgive that in a horror, uh, horror film because if they do everything sensible, you're going to have a very short film. But they just made mistake after mistake after mistake. And it was basically the same thing repeating itself. They, they'd escape and then they'd be captured again. And, you know, back and forth, back and forth like that. There were a few scenes that were absolutely ridiculous involving a knife and two girls and an ATM. I thought that was just horrible. Um, yes, it was barbaric, but I just felt it was completely unnecessary and out of the blue. And I just thought that the director just used that as a shock tactic. So, yeah, uh, you know, cinematography was decent. I mean, I, I really would have liked it to have been a little bit dirtier, to be honest. So, um, yeah, a great disappointment. I will say the best part of the movie is Rebecca de Mornay's portrayal as mother. I thought she was sinister. I thought she was a really, really good character. But unfortunately, she was only the only real light in what was a movie that really underachieved. The ending was stupid. I really, really hated it. I just did not like the way it turned out. And it was something that you'd expect from Hollywood, unfortunately. So in the end, I really don't share the praise that the majority have of this movie. As a result of all that, I'm giving it 2 out of 5. It's certainly not coming recommended, and it come nowhere near the quality of Kidnapped. So if you want a home invasion film that will really shock you, watch Kidnapped. Or if you're bored on a Friday uh, night and you want a film that is nasty but it's nothing too extreme, then this one I would say give it a shot, if only for Rebecca de Mornay's betrayal as a very insane sort of character. So yeah, two out of five for Mother's Day. I know a few people will be surprised by that, but each to their own. I just really, really didn't, you know, find it uh, as good as a lot of people make it out to be. So, yeah, definitely one of the most disappointing films I've seen in quite a while. Alright guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, take care of yourselves, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.